heavy, hey? In five. <clears throat> five minutes? Nope. Four, what? three, two, one. I wasn't, I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> I don't think eating chips is the best idea here. <laughs> what flavor? What flavor? <laughs> yeah, salmon salmon yeah. peanut good. Hey, don't this don't hold that flavor. logo up though. You don't want to get too. That's my yeah. It's not bad. Huh? What, yeah. What kind are those? Yeah. Yo. Mm. Oh, hey! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello! Hey, Why, TCS hello. TV! This is our first official live episode. We've been uh, around for uh, six months now. Yeah, to the seven. day. Seven months. No. Seven? It's no, it's since we did a live show. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. it's, it's our anniversary <laughs> to the day. Um, and so we thought we'd hop on here live and chat with you guys just a little bit about how this show has all come together, and hopefully we can get on doing some more live episodes for you guys. Yeah, let us know what you think of the live episode at the end of it. Yeah. Good. Yeah, and <laughs> now make sure that um, we introduce our crew. Of course, yes. you guys probably all remember Ron. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> There's Ron. Hey. <laughs> I am saying hi. So okay. Ron so. is our moderator, AKA internet bodyguard. Yeah. We also have Gary here, who's our producer. And then we have Drew, who's basically our live streaming dude. <laughs> he handles all the technical stuff. Hey, hey Delbor, that those chips, that was meant to happen. <laughs> no, the um, magic of live TV. Your, your husband's watching, by the way. Uh, oh, hey, Jordan. Oh, baby. Um, so Gary used to actually help with crewing our live show um, back when Chris and Jordan were on. And he loved doing it so much that he actually is now officially part of the TCS TV team. He is, yeah. And I think he actually works here now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sometimes he actually works, I think, actually. It's impressive. Yeah. So a lot of stuff <laughs> has happened. <laughs> a lot of stuff has happened uh, since we started the show. Um, one of the things is we met this guy. Yeah. Um, and we'll introduce him a little bit later on. Um, but we're really surprised in six months or seven months, as Ron was saying, we've made 18 videos. Yeah, that actually surprised me a lot because it's kind of when the bit of a wash, you're like, well, we've actually done quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, and there's been a lot of really cool camera announcements um, in the last few months um, that we've been able to test and review for you guys. We've got to do some travel um, to check out a lot of really new places. And um, we've met some cool YouTubers as well. We have, yeah. And some of our adventures, like when we went to Toronto, that was a fantastic trip. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, who are some of the people that stood out for you? Um, well, we can't not mentioned. We met Tony and Chelsea and Jared Poland and Big Head Taco. Big Head Taco is super fun, that guy. Um, we also met uh, Gerald Undone and Lee Zavitz, Gagnon Balan, yeah, these are, yeah, these are, we had a great time with them in uh, Toronto. Yeah, it was fantastic. Brownstone. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, we know Jordan and Chris from DQ Review. <laughs> <laughs> really well. Um, but yeah, we've had the opportunity to meet lots of really cool people and try a lot of new stuff. Um, but the thing that I've really enjoyed the most about doing TCS TV is actually just getting out there more and shooting more pictures. Uh, it has, yeah, because you're. we have to get out there. We have okay. to try these things. Hold, and hold on, hold on, hold on. Put the chips away. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want any? You want some chips? No, put the, put the chips away. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> we let that go on a little while. <laughs> They're so um, good, guys. Like, you should have added some more. They, they smell good. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is Brendan. So Brendan Schmidt is our new videographer. And he's been shooting with us for most of the time that we started this. Um, he came in about a month in. And he does some amazing stuff and has a shocking amount of videography experience, especially for someone that was born in 1995. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, that is crazy. He's our resident <laughs> millennial. Are you even a millennial? I don't think, I think I'm, uh, You're like I'm a baby Generation maybe? X, is that, is that what we're called these days? Yeah. I don't even know, I'm not. That's technically millennial. I don't know, do you okay. shoot film? I don't know. <laughs> What's film? <laughs> film is, that's what they used to film the dinosaurs, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, but anyways, Brendan, he's really sweet and he's done a great job. Um, and he's really good at making these awesome montages. Yeah. And exactly. so he's really, really stepped up the game. It's been fantastic. Yeah. Can uh, you hit us you. with a montage? Yeah, let's hit it with the montage.
Yeah, montage. <laughs> uh, I like watching that. Brennan does the best montages. It was great. Yeah, let us know what you guys think of that. Uh, yeah. He does. It's really stepped up our game. Yeah, it makes so. us look really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, now, what have you been shooting with? For your gear. Uh, so my main uh, camera is the GH5. Um, can't beat it for the size and portability. Uh, my go-to lens is the Sigma 18 to 35. Uh, it's what on, is on this right now. Uh, what we filmed the the live stream crew with. Yeah. Uh, it's it's honestly it's the perfect camera for this kind of show. Um, it's yeah. easy to fit into a bag. We have a nice think tank bag that just. Pass yeah, away, our think really tank clean. roller comes everywhere with us. And uh, it's great. Plus, you can put double XLRs into it, right? right exactly. Into the yeah, yeah. We run two uh, Rode Lab or Filmmaker kits, so it's 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 really convenient and easy going. Yeah. So a lot of stuff has happened, uh, like we said, and we really want to thank all the viewers that have been really supportive. Um, we thought we'd really have to toughen up a lot more than we have because everyone's been shockingly nice. I don't know how it's going to be on this today, but I know. Uh, <laughs> I know. I mean, right from the get-go, we were—I was like shocked at how compassionate the internet was because I didn't think it was able to be like that. So yeah, no, we, found, we were really. Yeah. Really <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people like wanted us to succeed. They, they're encouraging us and they're following our progress, and that actually it means quite a bit. Like, it's nice to see comments yeah. that are like, "You guys are getting much better." Whether they're yeah, lying or not, I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> no, right. we'd like to think that it's come a long way, and um, I mean, it's been it's been a big deal. And even doing this live show tonight um, is a lot of people make it look really easy. And yeah, it's as, not. as Brendan knows, I am never usually a first take kind of guy. So, no. <laughs> so yeah, doing something live like this is we always uh, get the best take around what number seventeen, seventeen or eighteen, <laughs> I think. Yes. So, so. You're yeah. being a little generous. We've made some rules now. <laughs> Dave's usually not allowed to drink Red Bull before we do a shoot. And yeah. We, we or at least we, we limit him to one. That is. What's that? Someone, Someone yeah. was asking where his Red Bull is. Yeah, where's your uh, Red Bull? What I you switched up today to a non-carbonated uh, Monster Hydro here. The, the Mean Green, which is uh, my go-to. Yeah, yeah, you're going to... Yeah. Sponsorship. You probably <laughs> are going to so. die soon, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so we'd love to get to some questions. Um, thank you to everyone who started asking us questions on Instagram. Um, and yeah, what, what do we have, Ron? Well, the sheet just fell between my legs, but... It's too uh, much information. Wow. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so... What's your impressions on running a YouTube channel after Chris and Jordan left TCS TV? Mm. You know, I was hitting stuff first. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I was expecting us to um, not be as well received, and I was expecting um, the viewership to fall off and what have you else. But it's been great. Yeah, uh, it's been it's been really good, and um, the sport's been awesome. Um, in the beginning, of course, it made me feel like I was going to throw up every time that we hit publish, um, but that's gone a lot easier, and um, it's actually a lot of fun. Um, I've really enjoyed doing some new stuff that we've tried out on our own. Um, we've really liked interviewing some photographers and talking about uh, more things related to photography rather than just gear, um, so it's it's been a pretty fun ride. For sure, and we've got to do some really wicked trips, like we mentioned Toronto earlier, but we got to go to Photokina this year, which was amazing. We did yeah. New York, a uh, very quick trip. We had a great time, met some great people, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it was kind of fun. You know, I think we got recognized eight times, I think, in Photokina. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's, that's an interesting thing. So when you kind of go in your day-to-day -day life and you have your sort of circle of influence that you have, it expands very quickly, obviously, doing the YouTube thing. And it's kind of interesting knowing that there are people out there in other countries that know a lot about you. And of course, with Jordan being my husband, they know a lot about him and how the, the channel went before. And so when you meet someone, it's really neat to have sort of some new friends that, um, that you can meet in different countries and you have that connection. So that's been kind of a, a really neat added bonus. Yeah, no, it's been, uh, it's been a bit of a ride already, but yeah, I think it's, we're, we're coming into our own a little bit. Yeah, what do yeah. you think? Well, <laughs> nobody's recognizing me yet. Uh, maybe after this, it might after change. This? Yeah, yeah. But uh, no, it's been really great. I, like even right from the get-go, uh, the three of us seem to gel like immediately. We all are yeah. getting along. Um, if you make me cry, I swear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So oh. No, it's been it's been a blast, um, and we're just continuing to learn and, and grow with this channel. Um, and yeah. yeah, we're 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 always open to the feedback and the comments that we're receiving and yeah like we, we do saying, take a lot to heart yeah and it's nice to see uh to see our viewers standing up for us and oh, that's yes. defending us yes that's good yeah. what else we got um 
Will you be doing a best and worst 2018 video? Excellent question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so no, we're not going to do the best and worst. That's definitely a Chris and Jordan thing that they're going to be continuing on um, in their repertoire, mm -hmm. I think. But um, we're gonna we have some new stuff up our sleeve that that we're hoping to to do. Yep. Um, it's gonna be a little bit different. I don't know if we're gonna get wasted on camera, <laughs> um, but you know Dave has some ideas of what we could yeah. do instead. I'm gonna fire up the Margaritaville and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> so it might just be Dave doing that, and uh, yeah, Brenda and I we will. We might head down uh, the bow in January here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two guys yeah. on a dinghy in January, <laughs> in Alberta, with the margarita machine. With the margarita, with the margarita machine. machine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so um, we're, we are going to wrap up the year definitely with, with a video, giving you guys an overview, um, but it's not going to be in the same format that it was with Chris and Jordan. That's their thing. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Uh, for Brendan, Ooh. let's put you in the spotlight that, that, for a little that. bit. How long does it take for you to edit your videos? Uh, it really depends on each video. Um, for the most part, uh, depending on the amount of coverage and stuff we have, it usually ranges between like the two to three day kind of area, um, depending how busy the store is and if I'm on the, on the floor or not. Um, but yeah, we usually aim to try to get out in like, we'll say five days to be generous. Uh, depends on like a lot with how a extensive the, the, the edit is or if, uh, if we're shooting in multiple locations or if we need to reshoot anything. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I'd say say two to five two to five days give or take yeah mm -hmm. and some videos are much more involved than others uh like we yeah. just finished up the gfx 50r and we were three different locations and we shot with it yes. for a week and yeah um it all takes time to put together but i think the the last result the end result was fantastic on that yeah and sometimes mm -hmm. he has to wait on us to edit our photos <laughs> and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> upload them to dropbox that kind of thing or music yeah there's a lot of factors that come into play that kind of like some behind the scene things that aren't necessarily prominent Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's way easier, I guess, than live stuff when you're playing with the Zoom and then you accidentally start adjusting the Zoom while you're switching <laughs> to <laughs> Ron. the wrong screen, but whatever. whatever. Um, we're professionals. <laughs> so, se seven months, internet. Give me a break. Um, let's see. Uh, what gear do you guys use? Hmm. Personally? Yeah, sure. sure personally, um, I've been a, like a lifeline, lifetime Canon shooter. So, you know. Canon uh, fanboy. I would say I'm a fanboy. I'm open to other <laughs> options. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, we, we get that a lot here. I've been at the store for quite a while. And, um, you know, we get familiar with every brand and the pros and cons of each thing. And, yeah. you know, I find what tool works best for me, what's going to help out. Um, you know, after the shoot with the GFX 50, I'm like blown away. And if landscapes was my main thing, I'd highly recommend this camera at all. But do I want to shoot my kids playing sports with it? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, I most recently bought an X-T3. <laughs> and so I guess you can say I'm a bit of a Fuji fan girl myself, <laughs> but um, I've loved this camera. It's been a lot of fun to shoot. So this is my everyday camera. And of course, having access to the camera store, um, we can shoot whatever we want. So I've really flip flop between different brands and, and different makes. So. Yeah. You know, I stick with my tried and true iPhone 4. Millennials. The dynamic range of your iPhone 4 is uh, quite amazing, actually. Yeah. Yeah, a, no, I, I usually, uh, I'm, I'm, the GH5 is usually my go-to. Uh, that or uh, a Sony uh, A6000 or A6500. Um, just something smaller for B-roll or whatever, but yeah, yeah. I'm open to options. Yeah. Uh, live from YouTube question. Where is it? Uh, <laughs> what camera lens do you mostly anticipate reviewing in 2019? Ooh. I, well, well, I really want to yeah. review the Fuji 90mm lens. Um, but I'm afraid that it's not going to be much of a review because I'm just going to be like drooling all over it. It's my favorite lens. <laughs> Talking about the stimulations. Yeah. The film stimulations. Yeah, yeah what about yeah. you? Um, you, know, uh, you know, say what you can about the EOS R, but Canon's got some amazing lenses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the new 28 to 70 F2, we had a chance to play with it a little bit in, uh, in mm -hmm. Cologne, but uh, that yeah, looks, We couldn't share any photos with it yet. but Pre-production, weren't allowed to share, but that looks like a really impressive lens. So yeah, we'll try that good. one out. Yeah. Cool. Um, 
trying to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Who is your favorite YouTuber? Mm. Oh. These well, are all five, questions from I know you, the internet, I know who that was from. Way. That was from uh, Rafael Wigal. And <laughs> so besides your YouTube channel, we'll put the link in the, in the notes. Um, I really like Tyler Stallman. Um, he's been doing a lot of really great tech reviews. Um, I think he definitely sets a new bar in terms of quality. He really knows how to light stuff. He does some really gorgeous work. And I like the way he talks about tech stuff to make it um, seem really accessible to people. I also really like what Levi Allen is doing for his outdoor adventure stuff. He makes some some beautiful stuff. And I got the chance to meet him um, a couple times now, once at the Bath Mountain Film Festival and once in Calgary before. And he's just a really great video guy. And of course, there's that tall, you know, video guy. Oh, yeah. I like the Asian guy, right? The Asian guy. <laughs> They're really dreamy. Yeah. Yeah, who, who do you like, uh, Dave? You know, uh, <laughs> I don't have the same kind of feelings, I guess, towards that. No, but, uh, you know, uh, That's Ger fine. <laughs> Gerald Undone has been fantastic. We met him in Toronto. Yeah. I've been following his videos. Very informative, and he has a very playful way about it, and uh, it's very educational. I liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, we met a lot of really cool guys. Yeah. One. What about you? Uh, I've got to you know, stick with my uh, my go-to fail army here, you know. Like, nothing, nothing beats like throwing on fail army after a long day. I don't even know what that We're just is. putting... <laughs> it's, just, it's just fail videos. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Just, okay. Yeah, just watch Not funny. photo video. Or yeah. Gotcha. Just watch gotcha. our blooper reel one day. I think okay. that's probably... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, speaking of, like, blooper reels and such... Um, since you guys have taken over in the last six months, what is your most popular video in that time? Oh, that's a good question. I'm trying to think of the, the Fuji X-T3 did extremely well. Yes, actually, that I think that video is one of the, the top ones in terms of views. I don't know, maybe you guys could fact check that for us because uh, I'm not 100% sure. It's I think the, the X-T3 yeah, and yeah. all of the yeah. X-100F. Oh. oh yeah. And then so a, a Fuji camera we loved, and one we did not like very much at all. And then, uh, oh, I like the X100F. You were talking about the other one. X, X100 oh, X of ten. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then your third most popular, the one that you know a lot of controversy with. Yes, oh, that one. Our Nikon. <laughs> <laughs> Nikon Z7. Yes. Which yeah. one? Right there. That one that had one the here. most interaction. We'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got we got kind of hosed on that one. Um, we were really excited on that so trip, and we had a good time. Hosed? <laughs> hosed. We got hosed. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have my sorry, uh, Internet, is it Nikon Z or Z? It's Z. 100% Z. Yeah, it's Z. I mean, and, and we've, Nikon has tried to tell us to call it Z, and we say no, it's Z. There's even some other Canadian uh, photographers that I think are part of their ambassador program that call it Z, and it that makes me cringe. And I know for the American viewers, it makes you cringe to call it Z, but it's that's just what we call it. So. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Like, uh, I think actually Nikon said it's okay. They just you know as long as you're talking about it, it's all good. I mean, what, yeah. I what are you gonna do? I think it's either way. Actually. Yeah. What do yeah. you what do you guys call it on a day to day basis? I don't call it Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> so. Yeah. Or what was the other one they said? Oh, you don't call it Z Z Top. What? Gary. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's I'll what stop. I've been calling it from the beginning. I'll, be, I'll stop yeah. being a nerd. So. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, ooh, what's the funniest thing you've ever done while on the show? Funniest? Yes, yeah. or funnest? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, there is. Sorry, yeah, I misread that. Yeah, I, funnest, I funniest, funniest thing. Um, we'll I mean, both. there's yeah, I there's been a lot of embarrassing things that I've said, and usually I'm like, no, cut it, cut it. But um, I thought it was pretty funny with the whole film. Film stimulation, stimulation. right? <laughs> Some people think that we script our word or stuff, but no, we had that. I was completely no, off the let, cuff. We let the word vomit come out a lot. It just um, <laughs> a lot of times doesn't make the cut. Brendan, is there a lot of cutting room floor stuff that you have stowed away? Yeah, I think what we're on our third drive now <laughs> third, yeah. third drive There's Good. A lot that's of gonna make a heck of a montage yeah yeah, yeah i think we're gonna do the Lots next this montage was what a minute i think yeah. the next is gonna be an hour yeah we have a lot of fun off off camera right before the camera starts rolling we're always laughing right like it's it's yeah. there's always something funny loose. going on yeah, mm -hmm. we have a good time. Yeah, no, the funnest thing that we've done, that's a tough one. I know you guys had a lot of fun on the dinghy together. Yeah, <laughs> two guys floating down the river. Yeah, that was a good uh, time. 
Yeah. But yeah, that was the only one that I was in there for. It was actually very, it was a very fun day. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I have to thank Fuji for checking a couple things off my bucket list. And yeah, we yeah. have had the opportunity to try some new stuff. I was terrified of going in a helicopter and um, it actually was a really enjoyable experience. My first trip on it, I was terrified. I was like hanging on to everyone and freaking out. And then the second trip when we made our way back, um, I sat in the front with the pilot, and so I felt like I got over that fear and yeah, and uh, pushed yeah. my limits a lot. That was good. No, and the the same trip we got to drive some exotics, which was fantastic. That was a huge bucket list thing for me. So ripping around a track in a Ferrari was uh, was fantastic. Yeah, I drove it just like my Hyundai Elantra, <laughs> <laughs> which was great. <laughs> Dang. Um, oh, I I see that everyone's here in the chat room, like Jordan and. Aaron's oh. here. Chris oh. is in here. Ian's here. Uh, stop <laughs> commenting. And yes, I want my star wipes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, getting on maybe a more sensitive topic. Oh. What are your thoughts on the micro four thirds debate? Debate. Uh, verbal. De ver verbal vomit, as you refer to it, just <laughs> happened. I don't, I don't have yes. Well, uh, I, th I think it's a strong market in all sensor formats right now. Yeah. Actually, everybody's putting out very good competitive products. Yeah. We, we shoot on a GH5 on a day-to-day -day basis. Exactly. Case in point. With, yeah. It's a it's a good system, and I think if we see more cameras um, and the continuation of the line with Panasonic. Um, you know, if they have these portable cameras where the full frame cameras are kind of moving more towards the big lenses, um, I think it's going to be a really viable option still for travel, wildlife. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of good uses for it. Mm -hmm. Especially on the video side of things, for sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're giggling at comments, don't mind us. Uh, how often do you think... Uh, just gear topic. How often do you think an amateur photographer should change systems? Should they change systems? Sure. Um, That's a huge thing. We deal with that daily, right? As new gear comes out, people get excited about one feature over camera over another feature. But yeah. I think I always tell people when you when you choose a camera system, you're kind of getting married to it. And when you, yeah. you to get out of it, it's like a divorce. It's painful. It's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think if you're if you're buying into a camera system, I think the best thing you can do is invest in more lenses and give yourself more options. And of course, even with third party lenses coming out with Sigma with their art series, there's some really nice options that you can get. You um, look at any any you, manufacturer now, there's some fantastic glass across the board. So mm -hmm. you ultimately have to be happy with the result you're getting and the experience to get to it. Mm -hmm. um, Hi, Gary. Uh, we can't drink beer since that one episode. Just by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Someone was asking where the beer is. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Don't know what's in this mug, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true. Take That's the reason why it's a steel mug. <laughs> um, actually, a follow up since that question mm. uh, for the most popular video. Uh, since the X-T3 video was your first uh, on your mind as the most popular video you've done, a uh, prominent news shooter recently put out on Twitter that they're ready to sell their Sony a7 III because of an X-T3. In your opinion, uh, why? Hmm. You know, I, I found that the Fuji X-T3 was a really a sort of engaging camera. Like, I, I've always ex I've always really enjoyed shooting the Fuji camera. Yeah, and I think just from a usability standpoint, it's a lot easier for you to do your manual changes because you don't have to go as deep into the menu systems as a Sony. Um, I like having all the external dials myself, and so I think that would be a really good option for someone to switch because it's more fun to use, maybe. Yeah, I've always found the, the experience in shooting Fuji a little bit more enjoyable than uh, some other brands. Yeah. Um, a good comment that popped up just nope. now Excellent. Uh, in regard to the changing systems. Uh, date your bodies, marry your lenses. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in, in the past, I've always sort of upgraded every second generation of camera. You know, I found like the, uh, especially in the SLR world, we're seeing the, um, the improvements are incremental. They're not massive changes. Mm -hmm. or we're seeing that with mirrorless cameras, much, much bigger changes. So yeah, so if you're buying into a system of lenses, you can always, you know, change up the body. And there seems to be a lot more 
compatibility between different lenses and bodies. So if you stick to one lens type, then mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, you get more life out of it. You know, and like the heavyweights like the Nikon, the Canon have smartly brought out uh, mirrorless cameras, but they have adapters that work really, really well with existing glass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, cool and partial guy. A7 <laughs> Mark III or uh, EOS R? That Ooh. was a question. I threw in the cool guy part. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> um, that's a tough one. Um, honestly, I think the A7 III, you said A7R or A7 III? You'll call A7. it A7 III. A7 III? The closest. Um, you know, spec-wise, the A7 III certainly is better. I think the autofocus is better on the A7 III. Um, and overall, in, you know, it, it's be a better camera, but I'm excited to see where Canon's going to take this whole R series. Um, the more I shoot with Canon, uh, the R, the more I like it. And uh, despite some of the features on it that are kind of hit and miss, uh, overall, is it giving me the results that I want? Is it giving me the experience getting those results that I want? And I quite like it, and I can't say I have the same with the Sony. Okay. See, not so partial now. <laughs> <laughs> cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh. Dave and Ev. Oh. Uh, sorry, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I'm always forgotten. <laughs> well, this this question I guess predates you because oh. iPhone <laughs> photography. Uh, Dave and Ev, <laughs> what is it that got you both started in photography? Oh. Well, I'll go first since I was around a lot longer. <laughs> um, I've always been into photography. I mean, you know, since, since like you were born, pretty well. came out of there like that. <laughs> I was holding it's amazing, right? He was know? born a camera. <laughs> <laughs> he was born a camera. <laughs> My middle name is Eos. Figure that. I don't know. <laughs> no. Um, no, I've just always been attracted to the visual side of things, and photography I picked up early on. Mm -hmm. You know, I I, uh, I owned a mini lab when I was much younger and ran that for a long time, and just always been into photography. Yeah. And then working here, it's just fantastic because this is like, it's like a mecca for photographers. <laughs> um, for me, I guess it's fairly similar. In back in high school, um, I did the photojournalism program and I did photography for my yearbook. And that's probably how I first got started. And then I worked for a photo lab too and did photo restoration and photo finishing. And it just kind of cont continued on. Um, and yeah, I can't really remember a time, at least in my adult and teenage life that I didn't carry on a camera and enjoy taking pictures. Yeah. Um, yeah, Brandon. <laughs> yeah. When uh, did you get into video? Oh, yeah. How hey, did you Brandon. get into video? That's what I was about okay. to ask. Um, yeah, similar similar to both the both my colleagues, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've just I always guess. been creative uh, <laughs> uh, in all aspects, not just photography or videography, but um, I love creating, uh, working with my hands, whether that's woodworking or painting, drawing, um, mm -hmm. and I found video was a great combination of all of it. Um, Sorry. Attended ACAD and just got to experiment and play around with a lot of different mediums and just, I can't, I can't imagine a life without creating, so. Yeah, Brent is actually a, a really good artist when it comes to painting and woodworking. I've seen some of your stuff and it's awesome. So I think it all comes together. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll take a couple more. We're going to wrap up soon, I think. It's bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Hmm. Takes so mm, long. Takes so long. Oh, oh, hard. The crickets. Gosh. Who, 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 who <laughs> like no awkward pauses. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the old crew is watching us. That's yeah. No. Uh, oh. Oh. Wait. No, I think I already asked who your favorite YouTuber is. Mm. Hey, what's your favorite camera? Ooh, and on that, uh, another one that actually popped up on there. What's your favorite film camera? Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so for me, this actually is kind of funny because I. I don't really shoot a lot of Canon cameras personally, but um, the, cam the film camera that I still use is an EOS 3 that had that amazing eye control focusing system, um, but it still works. I still shoot film with it, and I love that camera. I actually brought it to Germany uh, with me, and I totally screwed up my rolls of film. <laughs> I <laughs> tried to teach my three-and-a-half-year-old darkroom because I thought that would be really fun, 
bonding experience and um, I light leaked the rolls and I'm very sad about it. They're still like curled up in a pile on a shelf. <laughs> Cause I just, I think they're still, if I scan them, we might be able to fix them, add some contrast or something. But um, yeah, film can be very heartbreaking. Yeah. There's a lot of people that are really good with film here and um, I'm just kind of getting back into it myself after a while of not playing around with it. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of have a sore spot for, or soft spot, I should say, for like the old Canon FD series, especially the AE1. Uh, yeah. my, my father owned that camera and we get a lot of people come through with consignments and they bring those cameras in. I'm like, ah, oh, it brings me back to a time. Yeah, but. our camera store family has a lot of film lovers. Ron, what's your favorite film camera? Because Ron's like a dedicated film shooter and mm. probably doesn't like le light leak his <laughs> rules. Uh, Whichever camera I'm using, technically, whichever Lane ones, but you like which, Leica. whichever ones loaded with film, I like Leica. Yes, he does like but Leica. like any uh, camera, as long whichever as it's camera Leica. I have that's loaded with film at that time, which I will take <laughs> months and months and months to develop. Yeah. So there you go. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so one, one yeah. more, one more. Oh, oh, you got another list of questions there? No, no, no. these are just our, our notes from before. Oh, it's your notes. All right, you can go over We're not notes. following our notes no, very well, we but... <laughs> we like, to, we, like most of our video shoots, yeah. we like to think we're really well prepared. We're very organized. <laughs> like actually make awkward pauses? No, yeah. read your notes. No, read your notes. No, like, just like our videos, they are not scripted. Yeah. <laughs> actually, before I know that there's a lot of comments going on, and I'm looking forward to reading all of them. Um, but we have had a lot of um, funny comments throughout the time, and I was trying to find somewhat, some of them. I mean, yeah, we get all, all the things like... You know the fat shaming comments and that we dress like we shop at Walmart. Yeah, and I don't remember that one. Yeah, did you get that one? I got. I guess it was directed to me, but I don't shop at Walmart. That's why I only wear camera store apparel. I buy pull-ups <laughs> for my child at Walmart. That's about it. Um, and Dave wears camera store apparel, so so there. Um, but I mean, yeah, the one thing that's been consistent is Brendan's awesome video work, and we're really excited to get him in front of the camera. Because he's really just a, a sweet guy, and we're so happy to have him. And he has a nice truck. And those guys, too, are, are okay. <laughs> and he has a really nice truck. <laughs> he has the nicest truck of the camera store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the rest are, like, gear questions, uh, such as, any upcoming Nikon Z6 review? Yes. Ooh, or yes. Z6. We have, um, so the camera store has received their demo, and then we're going to get a test demo, I think, this week. I heard that Pure Later is shipping it to us. There's been some shipping delays in Canada, but, um, but Pure Later, I guess, has it on transit to us. And so we should be reviewing that camera very soon, and we'll get it up as soon as we can, because we know you guys want to hear about that. Yeah, I mean, the Z6 and the Z7 are a huge camera release for Nikon, so we want to do it justice in our review. So even yeah. though we're a little bit late to the game, maybe, in the review, it's going to be a, a, a pretty... Um, Pretty good review, I hope. Yeah. Um, did you guys ask, answer what the funniest thing you've done on the show was? Somebody just asked that again. The funniest thing? Funniest thing. Um, well, I think just some of the bloopers of all the, the things that we've said. I know I've said a lot of silly <laughs> things. Uh, okay. but yeah, there's a lot so, of stuff that we can't put on air. Um, yeah. It'll I mean, come up in a montage that's bleeped out heavily. And <laughs> yeah. a reason I definitely think Brandon we need to work on this an montage. There's, a, there's so. a reason there's a lot of music on top of our <laughs> montage. Because it's usually me swearing. Yeah. <laughs> I almost fell in the river, actually, when we were reviewing the GFX 50R. I was like, I hope nobody mm. falls in the river. And I was wearing snow boots, and I almost biffed it into the river. But Well, and then Dave just about fell through the ice, too. There. And then Dave fell <laughs> through the ice. It kept cracking. <laughs> but no one was injured. No more fat chain. Or wet. And no more fat chain. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can. No. But. Well, like I was eating chips. <laughs> See, we tried to we tried to make a deterrent. <laughs> um, yeah, they were saying the, the whole room lit up with saying that the chips was a bad idea. But you know mm. what? You make a YouTube you video. You weren't eating them, though, so it was a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> Brendan, Brendan was hungry. We're keeping him late tonight. Um, what's your favorite picture you've ever taken for the show? Oh, <gasps> hmm. I see. Brennan always gets mad at me because <laughs> why did I, I know this was coming? Why did I know? Because I've taken some beautiful photographs of my son, and I'm always like, "Let's put this photo in the review." And he's like, "How about not as many photos of Liam?" 
Um, that was not the exact words. Yeah, exactly. Like, I remember that distinctly. <laughs> you stormed in the office and like, you're so tired of seeing it. running pictures of him. Um, no, there's been some beautiful photos of him. I, I think probably my favorite photo from the show overall um, was actually in the very early days. And it was when Ron and I were in Japan. Aww. And there was these two girls that were on... Um, scooters and the light was really beautiful and the streets were really quiet and we were yeah, in Kyoto I remember that shot. and I ran and like chased them and I <laughs> just got them in the shot as this old man was riding his bicycle across the street and that photo is probably one of my favorite photos wow. ever and um, awesome thanks for reminding me that I really really want to go back and <laughs> I know. feel really sad it was, there it was such a, a quick second. trip and um, yeah. Ron actually got no, to I stay longer go 2020. it's gonna be um, bonkers there yeah Ron actually got to stay r- longer um, and rented like an Airbnb closet yeah, I, r- I rented an Airbnb in Tokyo closet. it was like legit $20 <laughs> for the first three days and like $14 for the next I don't know five afterwards yeah it was brutal yeah but that was. But I got a lot of shooting done. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's yeah. good. That's good. And I, I was talking about my favorite YouTuber, Levi Allen, and I'll take one of his quotes. But I really believe what he says, which is, "Life is better when you make stuff." And that comes down to whatever it is that you want to make that makes you feel creative, whether it's photography, video, um, anything. Um, I, I've, I've found that in the last six months, I've felt so much better about life in general um, because I've been able to to shoot more and have a medium that gives it some purpose. Aww. Aww. <laughs> On that happy note, <laughs> has any camera met its untimely demise during a shooting of an episode, <laughs> Evelyn? Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, I feel like I'm being picked up. Um, okay. Yes, I've totally racked a camera. What camera um, was that? Early Nine on, <laughs> it was the Nikon D850 when we were Ooh. shooting the Sigma 105 millimeter review. I had it on a monopod, and it was a hot day, and it was near the end of the shoot, and I was being stupid, and I had the wrist strap of the monopod on my arm, being safe, yeah. right? <laughs> but I was carrying it over my shoulder, because that's what the cool kids do, and all of a sudden, it released from the monopod, and I heard this humongous crash into the gravel and i just like let out this massive like and then you brought it in the next day and, and then like, wait no no oh. that's what happened i went in the car <laughs> i i picked it up and the um help me out here lcd screen was like bent up um but it was okay because it it went back into position but there's like huge dent on the bottom the battery door had bounced like across the field and so I went and found all the pieces, brought it to my car, <laughs> and I like sat in the car and hyperventilated and texted my boss, and I'm like, oh my god, this happened. Ah. And he's like, it's gonna be okay. Like, go have a glass of wine and relax yeah. about it. And I was like, okay, and I brought it in the next day, and we had to send it in for Nikon service, and um, it was okay. But I think the worst part is, is now, of course, everybody at the store is like, remember the time you dropped the D850? Well, that's, that's it right there, right? Yeah. It that's is the, actually. Yeah. Yeah. This Look, is the, the the one. I haven't actually seen it since it came came Good back. Yeah, it, it no looks, longer has. Thank you, so Nikon. Much, you did an awesome job fixing it. It looks so much better than like the cracked wreck that you brought in that day. Yeah. It no longer has. It's no longer <laughs> got the tilt shift mount to it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that was actually the camera held up really well. It still worked. Um, actually, the, the even though it bounced on the gravel with a massive lens on it, the LCD screen was fine, even though it flipped out. Um, the worst part of it was because that 105 millimeter Sigma lens is so heavy, it actually bent the flange. And so it wasn't safe to <laughs> mount a lens onto it anymore. <laughs> but you could have. I mean, if it was my camera, I, it, autofocusing worked. Like, everything worked fine. And so I probably wouldn't have sent it in for service. It, it because I'd be scared of how much it was going to cost. For <laughs> the, rest, the rest of its life. It was uh, uh, Anyways. Yeah, more tilt than shit. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, speaking of the D850, <laughs> what do you guys think is a better choice for mm-hmm. landscape and cityscape photography? That or the Z7? Very hmm. similar. That's Z7. a tough question. That's a very tough question. Um. You can come down to the card slot issue. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I mean, if you're talking about like landscapes and cityscapes, um, I think most people are going to talk about the image quality difference, and they're very, very similar. Um, the only major difference would be if you're somebody that wants to shoot to the right, 
um, you're going to get a little bit more dynamic range from the D850. Um, but otherwise, if you're exposing normally, image quality is going to be very similar. And I think that the, the Z7, in a lot of ways, would be a better choice for landscape photographers because of the electronic viewfinder. And it's a beautiful electronic viewfinder. Yeah, and you can, see your, like, you can see your histogram and all your settings while you're shooting. And if you're a glasses wearer and you can't necessarily see your LCD screen as well, you can adjust the diopter and see what you're doing. Wait, wait, wait. What single card issue? No, the card issue. If you're <laughs> dual. dual cards with the shoe with the D850, you, you said you owned a film camera, right? <laughs> I, I don't recall I being going a with film this. camera having more than <laughs> one roll slot in there. I was, was going to say, like, you know. I don't think for landscape photographers, most people would care about the single card slot <laughs> issue. I only shot the Samurai half frame camera anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> see, there you go. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, Two-parter. Is the XF10 really that bad? And in, lieu, <laughs> and in lieu of that, what's your best travel camera? Somebody's been doing some research here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I really you wanted to it? love that little Fuji, right? Yeah, it yeah. seemed like when, when we talked about it before it even came in, we were thinking like, okay, this is going to be a really nice, um, simplified camera that I think a lot of you know purists are going to enjoy. Yeah, great for street. Um, yeah, and it, I think it is that. It does get you into the Fuji system, Fuji technology, for a really affordable yeah. price point. Um, so I wouldn't say it's horrible, but it's just there's some things that can't be forgiven. The autofocusing <laughs> system is not very good. Yeah, that and that's a big... Drove me crazy all day with that. Um, you know, the images you can get out of it can be really nice. Fuji's got beautiful colors, beautiful profiles. Some might say they're stimulating. <laughs> Maybe? That's two stimulations Maybe. tonight. Someone might <laughs> say that. I don't know. But the camera itself, I, I, it frustrated me more than I enjoyed it. And so our review, I think, reflected that. Yeah. Oh, and then for best yeah, travel best camera. Yeah, camera. Oh. best travel camera that all three of y'all might uh, not agree on. You just best personal. It really experience. depends on what you like to shoot. And yeah, and how much you want to spend. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm the, Sony, the Sony RX series is really nice for a little travel compact camera. Well, the RX100 series is great. I've been uh, in continually impressed with the RX10 series from Sony. Yeah. Right? Here's this super zoom camera that does everything really well. As long as you can you accept the image quality on a smaller sensor, that's it's fantastic. So with great video capabilities. With too. great video capabilities. Like the 4K out of that's just Top yeah. shark. Really nice. I'm still on kind of a medium format high, though, I have to admit. <laughs> yeah. right? I what keep about you, Ron? <laughs> what would you do for a travel? That camera doesn't exist yet. Well, it exists. <laughs> they, it's just it's not being sold quite yet. So, huh? <laughs> no, it's not the Zeiss camera. The Zeiss camera looks pretty cool, the one with the built-in Oh, with the built-in Lightroom. It's basically an iPhone something. <laughs> that would, see, that would be a really good camera for Ron because you... Yeah. You don't usually use a computer to edit. Uh, well, uh, now I have a computer, begrudgingly. Oh. But um, <laughs> I don't even know how to use it. <laughs> yeah. Watch uh, him defend himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I didn't know you got a computer. This is a development. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, let's see. Uh, kind of best travel camera. Uh, yeah, I don't have one quite yet. Uh, I guess it would be like if I had the Q or the X100F or any of my film cameras or yeah, whatever I have on me that can take a picture. That's why I, enc I encourage people to try stuff out, right? Yeah. Go out and shoot some stuff. Find Let's out, do you love a mirrorless camera? Do you love a traditional SLR camera? Are you, uh, you know, do you love a 35? Like the X100F is fantastic. There's a lot of options. Right? Yeah. So we're, we're at a stage now where there's no real dogs on the market, right? There's no real bad cameras on the market. Right, they're all capable of, of decent results. Except but what do you yeah, what do you enjoy? Except <laughs> yeah, dogish. Yeah, dogish. <laughs> dogish. <laughs> but it's, it's yeah. not. It's it still can take decent images if you can get through the autofocus side of things. But um, yeah. but you know what do you like to shoot? What do you enjoy shooting with? Buy the right tool for the right job for what you like to shoot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll do one more. One more. Okay. One more question. One more question. Last one. Last one. Oh, is this the last it's one? It's gotta be a good one. one. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys see yourself doing this for the foreseeable future, or do you have an end date? <gasps> Ooh. Well, we all have an end date. Wow. <laughs> right? Way to turn this. How are you going to dig us out of that weird That hole? went dark quick. <laughs> no, I mean, this is, this is it. This is what we're doing. So 
Um, no, we don't have a foreseeable end date. Um, this is what what. Um, well, you know, I feel like we're just starting to right. hit our stride, mm -hmm. right? Like, if you unfortunately go back and look at our very first video that we did, <laughs> you know, not, yeah. with, not with you involved, uh, you know, it, it it wasn't great. I'm not going to lie. But, and you look at what we did with the GFX, right? We're so much more comfortable on camera. We're, mm -hmm. we're feeling, uh, you know, the groove a lot better. Yeah, and the live shows will come too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, huh? <laughs> I know. These guys, that, I mean, that went, live, that who wants to go live? You guys don't realize there's a lot of work goes into producing yeah, this. Yeah, these guys do an amazing job, and, I mean, they're just awesome to have around. And, um, yeah, I mean, the camera store, we'll call them a family. <laughs> um, we have so many amazing, talented people on our team, and I think as long as the camera store is here, I could see the TCS TV continuing on for forever. And yeah, ever, I mean, the, this has been a, like particularly a bonus year for camera developments and stuff, right? And I think they're just going to continue really to keep coming and coming. That's true. So as long as people are going to put me in a Ferrari, I will review <laughs> any camera they want. Yeah, please, <laughs> please put us in Ferraris and take us on helicopter. We're on in a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've driven can one you, before. Can you, yeah, dri you drive the last stick? Yeah. No, I can drive the little. Uh, I can, I I've driven one speed. before. Yeah, playing in the yeah. arcade is different. See, I can't. I can't drive stick and the, the little like. No, the Tiptronic. The, <laughs> the little guy had to like do it yeah. for me. It was great. I probably shouldn't have been behind that wheel, but it was amazing. <laughs> there you go. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Well, well, internet, everyone, TCS TV viewers, thank you so much for tuning in to our first live show yeah. and for meeting Brendan. Yeah. yeah and thanks, and all the crew. Yeah. So. yeah, we do read all the comments. We do love the feedback, sort of good or bad, and yeah. we <laughs> we we like the constructive <laughs> criticism. We tend to take that a little more, but we want to improve and we want to get better, and we're, we're slowly getting there. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate all your support. Yeah, and based on their facial expressions. I'm really looking forward to reading the comments on this. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fun. Oh, jeez. So, anyways, have a good night, guys. Take care. Bye. Thank you.